Dire Team Ban. Dire Team Ban. Bubice. Vevač. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Nejo, gore ću isko. Reserve time. Ja vidim, ja moš pauzu. Pauza je par minuta, dvije minuta, moram se istrati. Dobro mi drugo. Možda će biti neki game, još bi dva, dva, tri gamea poslije ovog. Sedam. E, možda. Pa kažem, zašto ispada da sam lagao. Ne bi ja lagao. Ten seconds remaining. Four men are left. Dire team pick. No, please. It's time to go. Dire team pick. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. Pretty much we saw one-sided games, all three games today. Uh, I hope we see some uh, back and forth Dota action and some good combos. That's what we're here for, right? Absolutely, that's what you want to see, that's what you hope for, and certainly a great way to start it is Team Spirit taking a Dark Seer for themselves. This is a hero that we've seen all over the CIS qualifier, and it started to get banned towards the end of the group stages, and I think a large part of the reason was just how effective that high ground defense is with this hero. It's just really hard to break. Uh, true that. Uh, Slardar plus Dark Seer, that's uh, an amazing combo. We've seen some good plays, highlights with just those two. But uh, what I want to see is how Dark, Dark Lane is going to do on the laning phase because his mana cost uh, on the Iron Shell from level 1 was uh, increased from 70 to 100, and that's really huge. That's uh, it's. I don't know exactly what the numbers are and the amount that can go out. I feel like he's like around... He, he starts with a decent amount of mana, right? Yeah, but still 30 mana per shield. He casts two or three shields even in the first laning. Uh, first... Uh, first... Uh, boom. Yeah. Uh, mind, mind freeze. Uh, so that's So that's 100 mana. Dire team ban. Radiant team pick. Alondru just free farms there. He kills the creep with uh, Quelling Blade on Spirit Bear. That creep just dies so fast and Spirit Bear can tank so much. So it might maybe. might not be a Alondruid on the safe lane, might be a mid. We'll see the matchup actually. Dire team pick. Dazzle. Chen. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time.
option. Uh, not a hero we see often. Not a lot of players can play it. Uh, well, this seems to me like a classic Russian Dota with Chen. They have an amazing Chen players. Uh, pretty much every team has one. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I love the lineup so far from Team Spirit. I actually need to correct myself. It was against LQ that they were able to win. So the Lolic Scandal Funix squad, uh, they were able to beat them out of that one. Radiant team ban. Uh, yeah, well, Sanking is also Ten not an outpush hero. He is in the later stages of the game, split pushing the the other lanes. But uh, when uh, Team Spirit gathers as four or just five, we'll see, have to see one more hero. Uh, I don't see anyone clearing the wave from these heroes. Yeah, that seems really tough. I'm kind of curious what their answer is going to be. I guess the Team Spirit haven't revealed their mid yet. Uh, we haven't seen like mid Sand King in a long time. That was something that I think a few teams were messing around with against uh, teams that were running a Chen because then you could get a lot of levels on them early. Uh, but that seems really unlikely. Reserve. I don't know. Uh, what's the answer to the Chen in general? Is it is it only wave clear? Is there anything else they could do? Well, uh, you can't fight Chen early on with whatever position for hero. Like you can't come and just try to harass him. He's just gonna out harass you. That's that's the thing. So just try to pop his smokes. Try to uh, read where he's gonna go and just uh, try to make some counter plays. That's that's it. Okay. Well, last pick for Team Empire. Certainly a lot on the line here. Anything you like out of the mid roll? Out of Team uh, Empire. Yeah, there's always a lone druid. Plus, they have two, All right. two spirits: one earth spirit and spirit bear. So, team spirit against team spirit. Maybe that's it. And yeah. vengeful spirit has also one spirit. The hell! Everybody's playing very spiritful. Oh, no, this is spirited competition. <laughs> um, just, I don't know. Smells like it. Team spirit. Are there any yeah, more? Nice. Do we have any more jokes? No? No? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't have any. Okay. Maybe later on. They, they need something to outpush. If Team Spirit uh, gathers as 4 or 5 at minute, between minute 10 and 15, it's going to be a problem for Empire. If they don't lose lanes uh, like super hard. Ooh. There it is. You like this answer? Yeah. Uh, Mirana kind of fallen off. We see her from time to time. Ooh. Ugh. Viper God. Spirit. <laughs> Viper Spirit, exactly. <laughs> this is a dirty, dirty pick right now. Taking the Viper in the last stage. This is just pride and true. Group up, push down towers, get that mech on Darkseer. Ugh, this is going to be hard to deal with. Yeah, Helm of the Dominator on Chen, Mech on Darkseer, maybe an Urn on... Uh, yeah, nah, nah there's, not, there's no Urn here. But still, they have a high region, so when they gather up, a lot of heal coming, Chen, Alti, Darkseer, Mech. I want to see how many towers will they take in the 15 minutes. I, I predict five. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hop into the game now. Game two. It's Team Spirit facing off against Empire. We are going to hop into it right now. And the pause. Well, welcome back, everybody. You had the next boards running at your face or something, uh, which was great. Did you get a chance to look at that video that I sent you, by the way? Oh, no. It's pretty cool. It'll be great. We'll be able to see it for tomorrow because guess what, guys? This DACCIS qualifier continues over the next couple of days. It's myself and Lacoste bringing you all the action. I do you believe that tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at the upper bracket finals where the winner of this series is going to face off against... Oh, my God. How am I forgetting already? Help me. Uh, I didn't even listen to you, what you were saying. <laughs> this is to great. be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, totally. I, I can't oh, remember yeah. who it is. The loser is going to face off against Vega. Wow. That is... The effect, of course. God, I'm terrible, guys. It's fine. All good. Earth Spirit trying to place a ward. Smoked. It gets scouted by Slardar. Yeah. Just gonna run away. Poshka played a great Earth Spirit last time. That kick away and then the rolling boulder into TP up by this top lane where we saw it was really impressive stuff. Um... Hope to see some more from him here. So how worried would you be right now if you're Team Empire about the heavy push that's coming in, and what you, what can you do to mitigate it? Uh, we'll see how the mid lane goes. Uh, Mirana, Earth Spirit against uh, Viper. If Mirana gets early eggs, well, then Empire can have an easy game. Okay. Just clear clear the wave so, so fast. It's hard to predict, Is... like, to, until 10-15 minutes what's gonna happen, but uh, just brainstorming a bit. Sort of reminded me of that Effect versus Vega Squadron game earlier, though. You have for Team Spirit this hero and a Viper who already has naturally higher magic resistance with corrosive skin. Heroes that could probably pick up a pipe as well. Uh, this could run into some issues for them where they are just not able to kill off the creep waves quickly enough. and. Looks like they're going to stick DK Phobos bottom to face off against King R and this lone druid. Yeah, they're swapping the lanes. The soldier's fortune. First thing they wanted to do is put lone druid top, but then they saw and they want to face with uh, lone druid against uh, that uh, dark seer. Look at the mana pool, 350. He already misses 100 mana. Gonna put another shield. Hmm. Yeah, that is tough, particularly if they're able to kill him off quickly, and... Well, that is going to be a frustrating one indeed. To get into that soul ring very quickly. I guess the place to watch is probably going to be... Well, Ghost Stick taking some damage here. Not able to get the crush off, but probably the movement of FNG, who's been playing a really great Chen every time that we've watched him. Um... What are the main creeps he's going to be looking for to pick up in the early stages? Okay, he picked up a troll right now. He's level 2, has a penitence, is that how you say it? Penance. Yeah. Maybe. That's how I hear it when Chen says it. He has two smokes, so after this creep I expect a smoke coming out from him. Okay. Uh, it looks like he is going to be heading out with that. Movement in over to the side. They do have a ward over here, which is going to spot out this movement. And oh, he just Benji actually able to go in and take it. But frustrating, no doubt. They do have Penance laid down now on a ghost stick, as well as the net to catch him. A, a little bit of the howl going forward as well. In some trouble. No nice. mana. Didn't want to pop the mango for the burrow strike. But Poshka trying to roll away. They weren't able to block him off, though. So he does get out and away. He had sprint up on Vance Square. Might have been able to make his way through with the phase movement. Yeah, to go in front of him, but uh, Miposhka also. Last game, he saw some good moves from him. Hard to gank. He's reading the enemy movement really good with that rolling boulder. What have we here? It's just chaos as FN is forced completely out of lane by the Viper, who Iceberg been having a great time with it. In the top lane, Ghost Tick also ran into some issues as they might think about diving him. Uh, FNG instead finds King R. There's the clap as well, bringing him down to half HP. And, well, he does have the grave, but the crush. And, well, he can just buy a TP and sort of say goodbye to life as FNG draws first blood, taking down King R. Yeah, nice rotation there. Chen is out of mana, though. So, well, if you look at uh, Mirana at mid... CS 8 to 16. Well, obviously, Viper is a stronger laner. One on one, it's hard to go for anyone against Viper. DK Phobos having a decent time down here as well. Can keep on throwing out the Iron Shells level 2 on it, but feels like that lane probably is a wash unless there's some severe outplays. Uh, as the roll goes in, has found FNG, but Boshka not really able to do anything to him. Go stick, controlled. 
I don't want to go for it though. King R is shown back up. Yeah, just teasing him, trying to use the stun. Well, already I feel like Team Spirit is off to kind of a hot start. 2,000 gold into their lead with around uh, 1,200 experience as well. And with the Shrine up, this is going to allow all these creeps to be back up towards full mana and maybe go in for another round. Uh, are Team Spirit under pressure to really make a lot happen in this early stage? No, they just want to get the items up and levels, and then after that they want to just uh, go as 5 and push. They don't have much ganking potential through the mid game until Slardar gets a Blink Dagger. I mean, early rotations from Chen, obviously, but uh, after that, not much. So they just want to get some towers, get uh, those levels, and get items, so... Oh, Miposhka. Yeah. Invisible. This, this could be a big one, although that being said, Ghostic is here as well. So they have an Invis rune. Marana does have a TP as well if she wanted to come in and help fight this. And it does look like she's going to TP in now. Vision, Team Spirit do not see her, oh. did not see the TP either. They're going to be able to get the stun. There's the leap in, FNG in some trouble. Burrow Strike goes out as well. They're able to crush down. And maybe control these heroes. Maposhka still gonna end up dropping from the clap coming out from that Hellbear Smasher. Another crush on the FN, but Burrow Strike to turn it back around. There is gonna be enough for a kill. Now BZZ in a little bit of trouble. Empire striking Thanks, back sticks. and almost able to bring it down. Ghost is gonna drop. They do end up falling there. Iceberg somehow coming back from behind the tier two tower, and everybody from Empire is gonna run away now as uh, more stuns go out. The send back from Chen will also keep BZZ alive. Seems like a f confusing fight for Team Spirit. They didn't know if they want to go or go back. They, they were just going back and... Uh, oh, look at the damage. Oh, drop down oh. to 60 HP. Iceberg go four. He's gonna see him. He's gonna see him. Oh, what a guy. No, why solo? He's just gonna die to the poison. <laughs> Grows his skin and he's back on the mid. Chen even gave him one tango. I want to see a build on Viper, probably just going to be some classic stuff, uh, Dragonlance into maybe right away into Hurricane Pike. No. Or maybe Maelstrom, so he can farm faster. I need to check the talents on Viper, plus 15 damage or 150 HP. Oh good, really good uh, talent trees on Viper. Yeah, he needs something. He doesn't. Not a very interesting hero, otherwise. Yeah. The you don't pick. Fast. Yeah, you don't pick pick Viper to have fun. You pick Viper to win. Oh. Well, we'll see if they're going to be able to make it happen. The tower already down, so things looking okay for them. They will not catch King R there, as he does TP out in a home and Ghost Stick. Rotating in, they want to try and find this. Arrow connects as well. Can they actually get the kill? Vanscore comes in, and that will dissuade Ghost Stick from going any further. And out the ulti. Nice dodge away from that one. Effin tries to go for a fairy fire to heal himself back up, and they were able to kill down the slaughter. Iceberg still standing here. The four points in corrosive skin working for him. Is he gonna be God. able to play to kill it? A ghost stick. Oh. oh, he's gonna drop. If he had, I, I, I wanted to suggest if he had the raindrop, that's like unkillable build. But uh, the the courier just gave him uh, infused raindrop, so. And level four, or level four in Corrosive skin is just wow. He can tank so much, and it's all the magical damage. Meanwhile, on the bottom, DK Phobos dying to Syllabear and uh, Miposhka rotation. Great play there. Yeah, I, it's not often that you see the four points in Corrosive picked up, and Iceberg usually in the past to me has felt like a hero that's been shown to just be very flashy with his plays and that this is anything but that in this game still very interesting as fn gonna take a lot of damage and they're just gonna keep the pressure on top lane magic missile swap back in into the crush a lot of damage the stomp as well ghost stick not going anywhere he's gonna burrow strike and well we'll see if they're actually gonna be able to take him down another crush in some trouble and there's the kill level one vengeance sora with uh, three creeps plus uh Toughness Sora from Wildwing. Looks like they're taking the tier 2 tower down with Tornado as well. Their TP is coming out. They need to back out. 
Yeah, I don't want to end up overstaying here as Mapushka looking for the initiation, but now possibly he's gone too far as well. Vanscore shows up. They turn on to Chappie. He's in some trouble. He's going to get the shallow grave this bad as well, keeping them alive. And yeah, they're going to be able to back out of here. Iceberg still getting chased. Should be able to walk away from this. It's not a place to fight near enemy shrine, especially if it's not on cooldown. I mean, in general, that place where the shrine is, is hard to reach. A lot of high ground for enemy team. Oh, sorry. Helm of the Dominator on Viper. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's actually a good, good build on him. It's what do you dragon. like about this one so much? Well, it, it gives Viper an extra region, which he lacks. He doesn't have any region item and his base region is really bad and uh, gives him some extra stats, some extra armor, so he can tank up and gives him damage as well. Plus he can dominate a creep, maybe get an alpha wolf, plus all the chain creeps and uh, vengeance aura, that's a lot of auras. Yeah. So a couple of things, Team Spirit smoked under the fog, or under a ward there. Also, Epicenter was used in the bottom lane, but wasn't able to kill off the Darkseer. So, Epi down, but they are smoking up, and it looks like Empire just going to back away from this, although... Yeah. Good can skin. Team Spirit still take the tower? Uh, yeah, of course. The, they are already behind the tower. The Team Empire used scan, but they went the other way. They're being pinged out, they know they're here. Yeah. Poshka in the meantime, just trying to soak up some experience from DK Phobos, and looks like they're getting ready for a bit of a battle. Oh, Rolling Boulder a little bit off the mark. Now everybody's showing back up here. They have Iron Shells throwing it onto the Centaur Conqueror as well. They will pressure this tower now. No Magnetize. Still a long ways away from Ags as well, but Team Spirit, this is what they make their Bread and butter off of. Dyer's Proven to be capable of doing it time and again. Irana used ulti. Do they have any sentries? No. They need to back. Hmm. Oh, they don't know. Ben is alone. Well, there's the stun. Maybe baiting this out, though. You have the rest of Team Spirit there. Nice leap away by FN, though. And they're even going to start taking over these melee creeps just to get the pressure going a bit faster. They really are wanting to make this happen. As Iceberg eats an arrow. Well, it looks good on a paper. They go as five. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, you see they're not killing anyone. They're just... Uh, okay, they're going to kill Earth Spirit, maybe. But uh, meanwhile... Uh, Lone Druid, free farming top for like five ways. Sanking as well, getting close to Blink Dagger. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, something that they're going to need to keep their eyes on, and it hasn't been the extent of the push that we saw in the previous game. Still, tier two towers by 11 minutes is quite swift. The thing I'm curious about is if they try and pressure for tier threes, so they have access to the shrines, or if they just are willing to settle for the tier twos. I don't think they can uh, go for tier three yet. They need items. So Slarder is kind of low level because of all that gathering around. You can see. The effect on Slardar. He's being level 5, and plus his gold, he has no gold at all. I mean, that's the thing about it, because uh, he's kind of position 5 right now. Look, look at Chen items. He's the one who has a Dominator, so... As if he didn't need more creeps. Level 6, soon to be level 7, then I'll have a hell of a lot of them, as Empire's getting set up down here. They do have Epicenter available. Probably waiting for an opportunity to go on to BZZ. Oh, ulti dropped onto the bear. Iceberg still fighting away. They aren't going to end up hitting the arrow. And Savage Roar, he does die. So 300 gold into the pockets of Iceberg. Yeah, look at the Viper. He's so tanky. He went for Oh, Epi. Level. Down here bottom. They kill off FNG. I speak up. Meanwhile, Viper is so tanky, he even has uh, uh, ice armor from the dominated creep. Let me just check the armor when he casts it, it's plus 8, right? 8, yeah, that's uh, 18 armor, just max slow. Imagine you hitting him, you don't even move. Yeah, that's terrible. That just, it sounds awful. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I, I will say, though, that you were talking about the pressure that Empire is exerting. They now have a Blink Dagger up on Ghost Stick, and I hope EZZ, they swap him back in, and he blinks out and away. Not able to get anything from it. Viper trying to make some plays, but no way to kill him. Is too strong and already building towards that maelstrom as well. Has it completed? Now back to the dragon lance. Do you feel like maybe if your team spirit, you're getting a little bit antsy about taking down these towers, needing to make things happen more quickly? No, they don't need to rush. They will gather now bottom. Let me check Viper. Yeah, he has a TP ready. He can TP to a shrine and just try to take uh, two towers at bottom. Probably, but their tower is gonna fall on top tier too, so it's a decent trade for Empire. I believe that he might have just spotted the movement over there, and he's actually sticking around. So, we'll see what they end up doing with this. FNG and BZZ are the only two that are hanging out down bottom here for the moment, um, and hitting the tower at least. Yeah, Venge went. It looks like yeah, Venge went for the hood. They, they, they want to end the, the game in the next. Let's say five to ten minutes that they're going all in. Jeez. Yeah, this really is the most ultimate of all ends. Like, you are left with nothing in terms of right click damage if you don't manage to break the base right now. So, we're going to have to see what the response is going to be. Chappie is even hitting this tier 3 tower. Look at how much damage is being dealt to this. Yeah, that's that's the problem. They don't have much to initiate oh. the fight with. Oh. Advanced score TP'd into the shrine, is in a little bit of trouble, but does actually manage to hit the sanctuary, and that's going to keep them alive at least for a little bit. They still find that kill. Team Spirit battling against time this game. They have the Ags now as well on Marana. Hmm. So you were saying that they don't need to rush. Is that still your assessment pretty much? That they can feel pretty comfortable with it? Or? No, no, no. They waste <laughs> so much time. At 10 minute mark, Lone Druid just uh, pre-farming, as I said, those five ways. Sanking got his Blink Dagger. Now Mirana has 15 minute eggs. And uh, Lone Druid almost killed tier 3 tower. So they can't leave the lane anymore. Because Lone Druid is just going to be in the where his tier 1 tower was, and on that lane... Oh, nice smoke. Swap. Good All initiation. Alright, they got him. Shappy, that's what they needed. They do end up splitting up as well, so that way the Savage Roar is not going to end up affecting them. On the other side of the fight, it looks like they're going to try and go in. Iceberg onto King R. A lot of damage to be dealt as well as FNG. They did kill off Chappy, but they weren't quite able to bring down King R, who does live through that. Now maybe time for Roshan, as Team Spirit group up for it. Epi is down. down. Yeah. Well, with Lone Druid down, that might have been enough of a kill at least to buy them this time for it. Still 20 seconds without him, and as you said, Epicenter down means they can't fight. Radiance middle tower and they will just leave it to be. And while Sanking is just uh, farming bottom. But uh, look at Venge, they need to make something happen in the next five minutes because she'll she that's a uh, carry venge with a pipe if they don't uh, take tier three tower right now it's gonna be so hard to scale into late game oh and dk phobos over here to the side he's in a lot of trouble it's gonna be silenced up mechanism does come out wasn't able to get off the surge yet the arrow follow-up dk phobos is going to fall this push is gonna have to take place without their darks here without their mech carrier they need to get something here quick. Dyer's top is under They're just gonna pressure both tier 2 towers, mid and bottom, and just continue. I mean, uh, Team Spirit, uh, Team Empire also has a great push. Lone Druid, look at the damage. That is really tough. And, I mean, they are gonna end up coming back to defend it, it looks like. This is the all-in for Team Spirit here. There isn't really a backup plan. Ghost Stick, Epicenter off cooldown in 10 seconds, and Burrow Strike connects onto those creeps to start it. They throw out another Boulder Smash, connects onto two. Still no darks here with them. Team Spirit, we need to be a little bit afraid. They're able to control up the Spirit Bear, and that is gonna be at least one kill, so... Chappie without a bear for 68 seconds. Middle tower At least it's something. Okay, Phobos pressuring mid as well. 
Dark the Seer agents. is still... Okay, he's running towards top. They want to make something happen right now. Oh, look at this wraparound, though. The epicenter is there. Do they realize they spotted out? Oh, they spotted out Phobos going over, and they're going to try and cut him off at the pass. Can they actually catch up to him, though? No, he heads the other direction. So they won't be able to find that pickoff as of yet. They have a vision on them. All right, well, here it comes. This is the fight. Hopes of staying in the upper bracket for Team Spirit Rest on this. It's time to go. Well, I guess we're going to wait for the next creep wave. Pipe up. What's the key thing that they got to look for for the initiation? For Team Spirit, they need to get hands on the lone droid. All right. There's the initiation on to BZZ, still taking some damage, tier 3 tower down. Iceberg up on the high ground as well, they're going to get the right clicks in. Ghost Stick is amped up as well now, they did find the Spirit Bear at least for the moment, Ghost Stick still taking a lot of damage, they jump in with the Pagoshka, that is a really nice combo, Hand of God comes out as well though, so they're getting healed up. Five person silence with the Magnetize, reapplying it, but they're just not taking that much damage. A big Burrow Strike onto four, the follow up, the Magnetize has lasted forever, the Vacuum Wall did not come out perfectly, Vanscor starting to drop, look at the reapplication, oh Maposhka, they keep on running through all of these rocks, what the hell? Oh. This oh, is the God. longest Earth Spirit ultimate I have ever seen, probably. <laughs> 3,200 damage. It still wasn't enough to kill off more than just the Slardar, but they stopped that push. Yeah, with all that region from Helm of the Dominator, Mech, uh, Hand of God, and Pipe. Wow. I mean, it's got to be at least a little bit scary for Empire that that team fight went about as good as it could have with Epi down, with Magnetize down. They still couldn't kill these heroes off, right? Yeah, they're going to go in again. Laundroid is on bottom trying to just uh, split push, which is the good thing, actually. I think uh, Team Spirit is just going to go right now, take those melee raxes. Aegis is still up, Pipe is up. Swap coming. Swap back in. Oh, but the nice pro strike from Ghostic. Man, the damage on advance score. Vacuum back in. Maposhka dropping a little advance score. Is going to live through this one, at least for now. They pop the shrine. Ghostic trying to stay alive. Maposhka as well. Everybody's fairly healthy for Empire. That high ground effects coming into play. Looking for but the it. stun. Misses it. FN, there's a nice pro strike coming through. FNG is now down. And BZZ in a little bit of trouble as well. But Ghostic going to drop. That's Aegis down at least for now. Chappie in the middle of all of them. Starting to take damage. Amped up as well. BZZ looking for him to see if they could find it. Are going to back. back. This might be huge. Oh, there's the gonna catch. They're gonna be able to find the follow-up arrow. Good blink in with fan score. The vacuum, it's still not enough to bring him down. There is BZZ dead now. These heroes have buyback, but they're in a little bit of trouble. The chase is going to continue. The Burrow strike on a DK Phobos. He goes down. So three dead in that fight. An Empire oh. managed to hold. Look at the drawing on minimap. Just instantly push all three lanes. Just get the much, as much as you can. Just farm. We, we are back on track, boys. Fan knows what's up. And is this, was that the turnaround? How, how, do you think that Empire have weathered the storm at this point? Or is that one... I guess it was only a ranged barracks that they got. Yeah, they got nothing out of it. It's ranged barracks. Uh, plus, if you check the graph, you'll see how much uh, Team Empire got from it. Plus, uh, look at the gold on Lone Druid. He has... Uh, let me check. Where's the courier? Okay, Almost it's uh, Mjolnir done. Ooh, and they got the Courier as well. That was Radiance Courier going down, and who was that? That was the Yasha Full Manta? Ooh. 3k gold. They have another pipe on Darkseer just to negate all that magic damage. Yeah, when still you look at this... Yeah, it's still not over for Team Spirit. They, they, they can just still gather and just try to hit the towers with all those creeps, all those aura... Uh, all those magic uh, damage deny. It is pretty insane. I mean, right now, Venge is sitting with 56 magic resistance. Just passively. And we saw Chen also pick up a couple of those cloak creeps as well, the small Radiant centaurs, but... Here is the counterplay. Radiant Pressuring out the lanes. No attack. great response for Chappie. Swap. All right. The Burrow Strike counter, though. Oh, and now the Savage Roar to push him back and away. Now... 
The split push comes over oh, here lane. to the side. Iceberg FNG, they're in some trouble. FN could be on top of them as well with the Aghanims. She has a leap forward if wants to use it. Reapplication again. They're getting healed back up. Rotation in FN trying to bring down Iceberg. He gets sent back. Oh, good play there by FNG. And oh. DK Phobos still alive. Meanwhile, on the bottom, Lone Druid just uh, split pushing. He has a dazzle behind him if he gets in trouble. Oh, and they're going to be able to run down Maposhka. Possibly no TPing out. Nice play here. Is going to roll 82 HP. They can't find him. And it looked like also Marana gets out. So the damage goes back that direction. BZZ now getting controlled by the bear. The chaotic team fights definitely favoring Empire right now. Yeah, they even grave the bear. Oh, there's Saved. the burrow strike. Oh, not enough. Would have been great, but couldn't get it. Well, as time goes by, uh, Team Spirit's gonna have uh, less chance to win. What have we here? Um, we have the Veil on Earth Spirit too, so all of this magical damage that they're building is gonna get amped up to mitigate the effects of those double pipes that we've seen. It's a cool lineup for Team Spirit though, you gotta admit, it's kind of neat to watch. Yeah, I was expecting uh, that they will accomplish more. Even Chen has a Vladimir Sora right now, Vladimir's offering. So, I, I want to see how much auras they have once they gather as five. Yeah. That's going to be one of the big question marks as BZZ finds FN. Not able to go on to him, though. Popping the pipe even. So, 60 seconds without that. And they are just going to continue to be split, I feel like. At a certain point, you kind of just need to go mid, right? Yeah, they, they need to. Let me just check the net worth. Yeah, look at the net worth on bottom as well. Working towards uh, one more Maelstrom. Usually you would see people going for Ethereal Blade, but there's no use usage of it against all this um, magic damage reduction. Oh, FNG, they found him. God! And this is the problem. You've got all these heroes running around the map trying to make stuff happen, but... Now all of your Chen creeps are dead. Your Chen himself is dead. Yeah, uh, the heroes uh, from Team Spirit are not very mobile. It's, it's hard to gank. They have Swap and look at Slardar. He has uh, no Blink Dagger and he's not even close to it. He needs 1.3k gold. He's not gonna get it anytime soon because uh, he's playing that position 5. Chen, Chen was buying items. Yeah, I guess this is why they call it an all-in. <laughs> you mess up and it's it's kind of almost over. Van score. Oh, the epi. Oh, it's all going wrong. They are going to be able to get the crush. So Van score creating that separation. And now the wraparound. Team Spirit. This could be a good moment for them if they can find these kills. But a good Yule Scepter. Ghost Stick is going to run away. There's going to be a he swap. He might go oh. down. Blink away. Can they catch up to him? Still amped. This Venge is moving quite swift, and long-range swap is going to connect. They still have eyes on him. Burrow Strike trying to create that separation, but is going to be chased. The whole time, though, top lane pressed in, and Marana and Mofoshka doing work. Yeah, look at uh, Mirana. Blink Dagger, Leap. That, that hero is really hard to kill for Team Spirit. On the other side, Lone Druid plus Dazzle having that... Grave sitting behind one of those two heroes. They can just split push all game long right now. It would be a different story if you had a couple of heroes like Phobos or Chen having the the um, boots of travel, but oh, like, it's so hard to make this work. Ooh, is this going to end up working? They're going on to him, but it looks like, yeah, he just back off, realizing that the smoke was coming and... Roche is up. Yeah, that's good. Is this what Team Spirit have been waiting for? They'll try to force it, but meanwhile on the bottom, Mirana, they either want to fight or just keep split pushing. Seems like he wants to split push their pings out coming for tier 3 tower. Alright, a big battle could be a Bruin. FNG drops the ward, spots out Maposhka on the high ground, and it does not look like Maposhka actually spotted him. They don't realize that this vision is being granted. Now FNG spots him out, stun comes through. Full time, again, pressure bottom. And is this the call now? Go mid, take the game. Or not yet? They can't. They, they they just simply can't do that. Look at Lone Druid and Mirana. Tier 3 is gonna go down. Just start hitting at range racks. Glyph is used. 
And I can do this whole day, really, Radiant with uh, Lone Druid and Potom and Sanking, just pushing out the other lane. I mean, Vanscore almost has his Blink Dagger now. You take a look at it. We've also got one fairly close on Dark Seer, and maybe that's the avenue for them to actually punish this split push game that we've been seeing from Team Empire. And you still have to respect the five man of Spirit if they're able to do it without getting split push. It's incredibly potent. It t takes so much time together for Team Spirit. L look at the movement speed, 345 on Venge. She doesn't even have a TP. Slarder, oh, he's getting close to his Blink Dagger, 30 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the timing we're not really looking for, is what you're telling me? Yes. Okay, so Viper has to run back. Oh, this is what's gonna happen for the next few minutes. It's... They don't have any boots of travel on Team Spirit, and uh, they can't actually afford it to invest that kind of a gold. They, they oh, need FNG. The... Oh. Yeah. It's not looking great. Oh, vacuum into the swap. All right, Chappie's just going to walk away from that one. That was a little bit awkward, a little bit of miscommunication, possibly. Now reapplying magnetize. People yeah. are TP boots in onto this. This is going to be a problem. Team Spirit is going to lose Van score. Now BZZ also the one who's going to get chased down here. They do guess wrong. He's got to get still. out. Oh, lordy. But team Spirit had one chance, and that was the fight at uh, Tier 3 Tower Top. They couldn't do it. The Earth Spirit was just dealing with 3k damage, did we say? Yeah. It was a lot. Um, more than a bit. That, that's what we could leave it at. I I just, I feel like right now Empire is showing up on a different level. Like, I, I don't know if it's just a draft thing or what exactly it is, but um, they have had the answers every time. Exactly like what we saw in the effect facing off against Vega game. That's the thing about going uh, with lineup like that. You have one chance, maybe a second chance, and that's it against good teams. Uh, and that's it. You miss the timings on your movement, uh, on the items, levels, and it's gone. Meanwhile, you have two Mjolnirs on the side of Empire, and uh, they remove all that pipes and the magical damage so quickly. Right. Yeah, particularly with the attack speed they've got there, and starting to see really the disparity in levels as well as being a, a huge problem right now. But we'll see how the next couple of minutes go. Maybe there's one more opportunity after, I don't know, they get the split push dealt with. It's just, it feels so tough. They, they need to catch a kill with the blink daggers, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, Venge went for uh, Shadow Blade. Uh, he said, it's enough. I'm going to go for Shadow Blade. I want to get a pick off. There, right. we'll, we're going to see it. Sanking. Oh, there's the initiation on a ghost stick. Van score there as well. Oh, we. Mm, that's painful. Oh, burrow strike away. Blink dagger Blink in one. Ready. Jumps away. Meanwhile, Ghost bottom stick. wiper oh, dying. God, no, it's all gone wrong. 60 seconds. BZZ steps up to him, taking the Mjolnir prox. Oof. Sanking can buy so much time. Look at the item build. Four staff, Yule Scepter, Blink Dagger, Barrow Strike. He can just dodge all that stuff. He yeah. can't if they time it correctly, but uh, still a lot of split pushing going on. Still 4k gold on Mirana. Yeah. And they try and get the courier out. They will be able to finish off this AC at the very least. So things may be starting to go a bit more into the favor of Team Spirit in terms of getting that next level of items. Viper is going to have it now. Actually, no, he's still a little ways away. He needs to finish off that plate mail. Um, but probably just like one big push and just not settling for anything other than tier fours would be the only answer for Team Spirit, honestly. They're just buying Ooh. so much, so BZZ. much time. They found him. They got Maposhka. Going to be able to control. The stun goes out. Magic missile. There's the kill. Uh... Aegis is gone. No. But like clockwork, bottom lane is where the pressure is going to come now. The smoke in, ghost stick there as well. Two points in center, and 
Well, depending upon how this initiation goes, channeling it up, going for Iceberg, oh, nice Burrow Strike. They are going to be able to find him, and Savager as well, pushing him back in a way. In the meantime, they took down FN as well as Maposhka, like we saw. Bear may be in some trouble as well. They've got the right clicks going for him, starting to take that down. And somehow, some way, they find a couple kills. Shadow, that Shadow Blade paying off. They got like two kills and almost got a third one. Good choice by Venge. Um, both teams have a gem as well, so there's no vision at all. There's what one ward on the map, and that's it. Well, now their lanes are actually starting to push out as well. You've got DK Phobos here who pressured out bottom. It is going to be punched in now by Chappie, but they're going to be almost across the river by the time this happens. It might be the time to call for it. AC is up. All right. Looking to wrap around onto King R. The rest of them are here. Chen, still not there with the rest of his team, does have enough to go back and buy bots if he wants it. But looks like for now, BZZ just going to sit here on the low ground. Where'd that creep wave go? Uh, well, we as spectators can see the whole map and uh, ask ourselves why they're not pushing. But uh, as I mentioned, there is uh, only one ward on the map right now. So you, you can't just uh, be that aggressive. You need to actually see the enemy team, at least two heroes. All right. Well, we'll play there by Empire to deny them that vision and cause them to be a little bit trepidatious about the movement. It's worth noting that they have not taken a Rax yet for Team Empire. That to me feels like the point of no return almost, where you have to constantly keep these lanes pressured out, but... Maybe now there is still some glimmer of hope. If there's a way for them to do it, what would it be? Well, they need to try to get a pick off with Venge, she's level 16, close to 18. With that Shadow Blade and maybe level 3 swap, it can be easier to score some kills, especially with Slardar. Slardar expects this to be a long game. He has a BKB and Shadow Blade in the quick buy. DK Phobos taking some damage. There's the Hand of God coming out. Keep him alive a little bit longer. Now in some trouble. They were only able to catch Maposhka with the vacuum wall, but there's the Grave from King R as well. Trying to TP out and away. It does look like Maposhka is going to be able to create that separation, but finally, well, not quite actually going to be run down. They kick him away. Yo, he will sift up as well. Nice. Blink it out. Oh, DK Phobos is so mad. Meantime... Oh. Chappie, Chappie problem. Trying to go for the... T he doesn't even care. He's just going for it. They end do end up forcing out a glyph, and now Chappie going to end up dropping. He has buyback as well as, of course, the talent from hell. Minus 40 respawn time. So she should be back before anything comes up. Mirana on top again. Now she tip his bottom. Has a Manta style plus 2k gold. I expect her to go for more damage item. So yeah, look at the talent trees. 8 edgy. 30 attack speed, 50 damage. Well, she is going to be crushed and tries to go for the Manta jump away. They aren't going to be able to run her down as the rotation comes in from Ghost Stick. A lot of catapults taken, by the way, as FNG is going to drop. And it looks like he's <laughs> going to try and bring his catapults back with him. What is this? This reminds me of one YouTube video where everyone makes kill of the Dominators and then they just take... Uh, all the <laughs> siege creeps and then they rush mid with the, all the auras <laughs> oh ghost stick is actually gonna drop so the thing about these they have 81 percent magic resistance so i guess they're just gonna send them out along the lane to pressure in the towers oh. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't do that much damage right well they don't do, deal much damage to, to oh no creeps no. coming in oh it's sad all right, Chen, use your ability. Oh, he's dead. He can't bring him back yet. Well, they're scouting things out. Is Cardi going to do it? Now, it looks like King R realizes what's happening. They're going to back out of here. Shadowblade BZZ. Does he know what? Yeah, yeah. What? No. What? No. Oh, oh, there he is. They found him. All right. Now, King R. That's some silliness, though. How do you just check that spot? Well, it's either that spot or on the right one, on the right side, so 50-50. Oh. Fair enough. 
I guess there's some mind games that go along with that as well. Like maybe you instead just like go right over here in the middle of nowhere and then you decide that nobody would check there. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen a team fight for like what, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's a lot of pick offs. Roche the Shadow Blade's been putting in work. Yeah, good pick up. He's almost got a Silver Edge. BZZ actually has a lot of money. In spite of the early pipe, they've been able to stay in this one. Yeah, they're just farming. Both teams are farming. Look at the gold on Dark Seer. He has a Shiva's guard. What is Mirana buying? Nothing. She has a. Oh, no. Oh, very low. Uh, it looks arrow, like, yeah, he's going to TP out. Can't find him. Top lane. Pressure on Ovaboshka. They find him and kill him off as well. So, Team Spirit, through these pickoffs, they have been able to pull themselves back into this, and Iceberg. Apparently they need a chance to sit down and talk about it, figure out what they want to do in this game. What is uh, Lone Druid getting? A BKB. Well, if he splits pushes, the only way to stop if he uses a BKB and TPs out is Swap or Lucky Bash on Slarder. Yeah. Bad. What about talents? Are we getting close to those level 25 soon? We've got the Marana Arrow talent eventually. Uh, Lone Druid, of course, getting himself into the Savage Roar cooldown, which is so frustrating to deal with. Do you like any of Vipers, the poison attack affecting buildings, or the a Viper DPS or Viper Strike? Let's check AD Viper Strike DPS. He doesn't have eggs, so 30 seconds yeah. cooldown, 160 per... Oh, it's actually two two twenty five per per hit for five seconds. It's a one k so, damage. I don't know. I'd go for poison attack effects buildings. So you end up getting the attack speed slow. Obviously, the movement speed slow. Not super important against towers. Uh, and then I guess just a little bit of extra DPS as well. Yeah. Go. Well, the call goes to go. Bobo's just running away for a second. If you were Team Spirit right now, what's your play? How do you deal with this? They just need to continue what they were doing. They were actually doing a good job with that Slardar and the uh, Vengeful Spirit getting those pickoffs. They, they got like 10 kills in the last 5 minutes and the uh, Empire didn't get any. Well, they're actually going to be able to go in and try and take down Roche now as well. And you look at this, they did end up losing a bear as well, so 100 seconds before they're going to have a respawn, and the lane is not quite in a position yet where they're going to be able to threaten the barracks. They should be able to take this Roche and get back to defend. Cheese as well? Oh, did FNG cancel his TP? I didn't cancel see. Cancel the, the cheese, yeah. And now they're going to pressure mid. Iceberg is starting to hit quite hard. Is this their chance? Is this where they go? And they can wait a few more minutes before the Aegis runs out. They just picked it up. Viper be becoming really strong right now. Oh, there's a double damage on him. Ooh. And this could be the time. Pre bottom lane is being pressured out. We still don't have bots yet on any of these heroes. More comfortable just building items to allow them to fight and stacking up siege creeps. So that's a thing. Yeah, I want to see... Level 25, Mirana, those two extra arrows is always fun to watch. At least you need to dodge yeah. everything. Well, and taking down all the creeps, too. You know, you throw that into those catapults. Yeah. Good. He still has three catapults. Yeah. All right. Vacuum, wall, Shiva's, Guardian Grieve, Sheepstick. Feels like Empire want to try and make a push of their own now here in the bottom lane. Tired of being pulled, or rather pulling Spirit all around the map. And that is a very dead bear. No great answer. Over here to the side now, BZZ gained the initiation off Vanscore here as well. And when they actually break this, they use the swap and are going to be able to pull him back in. King R in some trouble. He is going to most likely drop and That's also a gem. See, Empire getting really cavalier with their movement. Well, there's no vision on the map. They put a two wards not so deep into the enemy forest, so they don't get devoured. But they don't see much 
from those two wards. They need to be more aggressive than that. Still, they're getting dewarded once they place it more, more aggressively. I mean, Chappie is a monster at this point, but if they get on top of him, Lone Druid doesn't have a great answer. So, Bobo's here. It's to be careful. Is still going to end up popping the Shiva's now trying to run away. Guardian Greaves available for him, and to just be able to back out. Yeah, even Chen bought the second mech. Oh, and look at this. Reason. This play right here, looking for FN. The initiation is going to come out. There is the jump. The right clicks as well coming through. DK Phobos died in the bottom lane, but they take down FN. No buyback for Marana for 90 seconds, whereas Darkseer has his. Obviously, they don't know that on Team Spirit. Yeah, there are instant uh, TPs coming out. And... Well, they wow, kill off another bear. bear. The bear Dead is lane? just feeding gold. He'll stick gonna try and get himself away. I'll take your tribute. Coin of the realm. That's so much gold going back the way. Viper has butterfly now. Yep. All in, not feeling as all in anymore. Well, they managed to survive to the point where that split push was hurting them with uh, those pickoffs from Slaughter and Venge. Now even Slaughter has a Shadow Blade, then they hold two gems. Empire lost the gem, so they will have no vision and uh, have a hard time detecting the two Shadow Blade heroes. Yeah. Now, BZZ, it's maybe time to finally invest into those bots, but for now, Team Spirit feeling very comfortable at this point in time in the game. Also, I really like the little Kobold Foreman pickup, the extra movement speed here. Viper's now going at 402. When he uses fly, I want to see how much does he have. Yeah. Use it, use it, ping it out. Go! Come on, Iceberg. I believe in you. I guess he doesn't want to end up... Yeah, oh, there, there it is. is. Look at that. 518 movement speed for Iceberg. Look at this guy go! He's flying. <laughs> Literally, he's flying. Um, what, a, what a guy. Wow, that but... attack speed. Yeah, it's really terrifying. This is before Moonshard as well. He's not gonna get Moonshard. Probably uh, right now he needs um, Boots of Travel to replace that Power Treads so he can farm even more, but uh, he doesn't want to invest in it. He's just saving for buyback, of course. What is that movement speed? Look at it. Run, Iceberg, run! Use it again. They do scan out Chappie over here. A good scan. Realize what's happening, and this is going to signal the BZZ. Let's go in. That's Aegis expiring now. And also a Moonlight Shadow. Do we have a gem? Ah, uh, they have it on Vance score. Are they going to spot him? Aposhka might reveal himself here, but DK Phobos. Oh, they found him. Over on the other side. Chappie pops his BKB. Trying to get out in a way. Swap. There's the swap into the middle of everybody. He's gone. They lose the Lone Druid. 46 seconds only without him. Yeah, that's the... Talent three minus forty seconds respawn time. In my opinion, oh. uh, less respawn time shouldn't be in talents, but that's just my opinion, I guess. Especially on the hero like that. So he is out in level twenty-four. Hero is out in thirty-five seconds. It's just not balanced. It's a hard one. Ain't ain't real. Ain't good. You can see the bottom lane pressuring in again. No tower here, but the creep wave should push it back at least a little bit. Even, at the very least. But you can see that Team Spirit getting slightly antsy. They want to pressure this out and try and take down a tower for themselves. And Empire, who were once looking so strong, are now down the barrel of a little bit of a net worth and experience deficit. You do have level 25 on Marana, so she's went for the attack speed instead. Yeah, yeah I saw it. didn't want to even mention it. I was kind of disappointed. Well, the team spirit started to cross the river, so they feel more comfortable. And when is the next Roche? Well, not not up soon. Yeah. Mirana, with the Bloodthorn, she can remove uh, the butterfly effect, that evasion from Viper. Mm. Yeah, there's the Boots of Travel on Viper. Oh, it's really going to be moving and grooving. 
Use butterfly. Use butterfly. We want to see it right now. Keep our eyes on him. The other thing important, though, is that we've got a big smoke play now moving in from Empire. They want to try and finish this game off now, if at all possible. BZZ going to be the one that gets spotted. Vance score. Can they get the counterplay? Jump in, crush onto two. B BZZ is low, is going to die there. 80 seconds, has buyback. Epicenter a little bit off the mark. FNG now trying to run away as well. They've only lost one. Will they lose any more? It looks like FNG is going to drop. Meanwhile, Vance score pushes out the lane. Everybody backs. Ooh, what a huge wave on bottom. It's going to be an MKB for Lone Druid. That's what ends up changing it back in their favor, but you do still have Iceberg who's pressuring out this top lane. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, Maposhka? Spots that. This game feels like it's uh, 60, 65 minutes long, but it's only 48 minutes, if you can call yeah, it. Yeah, right? Only, yeah. Really weird. Game of dodges. Oh. This isn't the CIS Dota I'm used to. The heck? Yeah, the... Darkseer has almost enough money to buy a Hex if he wants to, then it's gonna be easy to kill pretty much anyone. Look <laughs> at this Viper. Yeah, the attack speed is just insane. <laughs> it's really cool seeing that. You get the extra Agi as well at 15. You want a ton of damage. But it's going to be able to not quite catch there onto the bear. It's going to end up being forced back. Chappie's still not fully committing for that KB yet. Wants to make sure that he saves buyback. Now everybody's back alive. They weren't able to force a buyback out of that. It's surprising and I imagine frustrating for Empire. I need water. Is there any water in the studio? Just kidding. <laughs> just, just kidding. I'm at home. We don't have a studio. What are you talking about? I'm in my bedroom. Actually, no, I'm in the uh, kind of in the dining room, but well, Ghost Stick building towards an Aghanim Scepter next for himself. You also have what is this for FN? The Bloodthorn that we've talked about still very high up in terms of their net worth, but it's starting to feel like that complete and total turnaround. Also, not often seen the lads on Maposhka. Let me check that. Well, it's a good pickup, uh, especially for late game. It gives you 15% uh, life steal, and at this point of the game, it's huge. Plus the extra armor. Yeah. Uh, Mirana sold the uh, Agony Scepter and bought a Butterfly instead. It has even gold for uh, brain freeze. Yeah, two for. hyperstone, but she's saving for buyback. Moonshard, there you go. Yeah, Moonshard, there it is. Nice. Uh, uh, bonus night vision as well, but a bit of a big smoke play now. Moving over to the side, four step to the low ground. FNG, possibly what's on the menu for this bear and sand king. Iceberg trying to run away as well. Oh, uh, no, this is where you want to be. Run away. Looks like they are going to be able to survive for the moment. They throw it on the weave as well. This could be bad, actually. They're kind of in an awkward position. King R forced to try and TP out. They swap him away, and King R nice gets it broken. You. A huge combo. They lose two. Team Spirit pulling it back. Empire in some trouble. Viper. AB on Viper. Plus, he has a cheese in the backpack. How have they been able to do this? This was looking so terrible for so long. Well, they have been farming for the 30 minutes, so let's see what Darks here. It's level 23, not level 25 yet. Who's close to 25? The prize is um, see, it's pretty oh. much Darks here at this point. The other ones, oh, Ghost Stick ends up getting, oh, a little bit off the mark there with the stun, and he is going to be able to blink out. Still no ag, so that burrow strike range not crazy long, as Chappie is going to TP out as well. Now you have those items. Yeah. Venge level 25 talent. Uh, plus 20 vengeance aura. That's 56%. Uh, or she can choose uh, to go for magic missile. To go through BKB and other spell immunity. Do you think that's a, a, a DC one this game? We only have one, one BKB, BKB on the enemy no, team? No, he's going to go for uh, the aura. 
Oh, DK Phobos gonna He's get getting sold for a moment. Oh, nice play. Oh, and the epicenter not gonna catch on to anybody. FNG trying to run away at this point. BZG counter initiation play comes out. They have the burrow strike. A secondary stun connects on it too, but Iceberg is here. Big, bad, large, and in charge. Chappie starting to deal the damage. They're able to swap out back and out and away. They are dealing a ton of damage here with Chappie, but is gonna start to take the damage back in return as well. Is he gonna end up falling down? Vance Core, Blink Dagger up in one second, getting it canceled. Chappie kiting away. Oh, this is what they needed, but there's the shadow. Blade. The chase will continue. Vanscore has a blink back up online now, trying to go for the Ooh. Savage Roar to create that separation. Oh, he is what a play. Oh, just off the mark. Oh, Chappie with the plays. Yeah, but what now? Bash, 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 bash. No, <laughs> Isn't able to find it. Final result, though, they take the Piranha and the Dazzle for the Venge. Wiper deals so much damage in the team fights. No one is even hitting Wiper. Why? I mean, he's just, he's too hard to kill off at this point. Exactly. 5,000 gold on sinking. Split pushing again. It looks like Team Spirit still feeling like they are the ones who are in control. They're the ones who aren't going to be pressured to end the game almost. And I mean, at this point, I'm kind of feeling like they're right. I, I, I'm not seeing Empire really pick up items that are allowing them to deal with this Viper. Maybe six new items on the Spirit Bear. He doesn't yeah. have any so far. Oh, Roshi's Roshan. Up. This, is it scouted right now? Oh, they did see this the ward moving over here, so they should realize that Rosh is going on, I would imagine. But it's dropping pretty quickly. They don't have a ton of minus armor. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, oh Chappie, this... he got bashed by Roche as well. Do they spot him? They're, they're underneath the ward right now. For the initiation, Van score, jump forward, blink, catches mm. Chappie. He's in some trouble right now. Taking the damage, BKB pops. Still looking for more. Ghostic, Burrow Strike, connects onto two, four staff to the high ground. Well played, Mapushka, pulled back nice in though. Stun. A nice crush, Van score, killing spree. And now, five left alive, no buybacks on either of those heroes. Steam Spirit doing this. Are they actually doing it? What? Have a creep wave up high. Oh, this is a great play by Ghostic though. Should be able to finish off the creep wave before it disables back door. Still in effect. Trying to kill off the other one now as well. Sandstorm running away. Oh, he's in trouble now though. There's the magic oh. missile, connects. He's in trouble. Bottom lane is still being pressured in. Chappie, he's going to go down as well. He does have buyback. FN also going to get it in a pain. Do they have reveal? DK Fobos not there with the gem. So top lane, they kill off the Sand King, but they lose the Lone Druid bottom. And they have a creep wave. Yeah, look at the Viper damage. 7,000 gold. He doesn't have bots right now. Oh, Maposhka? TP's into it. He's going to drop. He doesn't have buyback either. 50 seconds, no Earth Spirit. I think Team Spirit might be able to pull this one out. Yeah, Roche is up. Let's see who has a buyback. 20 seconds, Lone Druid has a buyback, but they're going mid. All right, here we go. The final push, what we thought was an all-in, turns out to be completely and totally the other way. And Empire without an answer so far. Epicenter just tickling Iceberg. They get the stun, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. They go at the grave. Sheepstick as well. They vacuum back in FN, but he is going to be able to leap out and away. Still, Iceberg, the one who is dealing all of the damage here. Poison attacking buildings, because that's a thing. And this could potentially be it. Team Spirit somehow pulling this one back into their favor. Yeah, well, this Viper, they just... They just can't do anything to him. Oh god, they just don't have an answer. Chappie trying to right click, but they're hitting buildings. They're taking him down. They're going for mega creeps. Team Spirit mad about that last game and the crush onto King Arm, Maposhka throwing out the ep nothing. Iceberg is just a monster. It is time, boys. Go. It is time to call it. You had your chance. Now. Yeah. They end up dropping it. Tier 4 is now turned upon. Team Spirit win it in the late game. 56 minutes. Did you think that they had a chance? I, I really didn't. I I didn't either. But uh, somehow they managed to get those pickoffs 
with Venge. I think the Shadow Blade changed the game on Venge. They bought so much time with it to actually get farm on the, on that Viper. I want to see how much uh, 